everyone, here is another Halloween tutorial for you, and if you want to see this old maid look, stay tuned. I'm starting off by taking my Gosh Matte Duo in Dark and Dusty with my Sigma E05 brush. I'm going to make some crazy faces, and this is because I'm taking the darker color on this brush, and I'm going to line where the natural lines of my face are going to be to create some wrinkles. By making these goofy faces, you're going to be able to see where the lines naturally fall on yourself, and this will make them look a little less artificial and like they actually belong there. We're going to line underneath the lip and this will help drag your lip down and make it look like it's sagging. When you're outlining where your crow's feet are going to be, you want to make sure that you're very lightly going over it. You don't want thick lines because that's going to look really unnatural. I wanted to give the illusion that I had saggy eyelids, and I did so by taking that color and just dragging it underneath my eyebrows, connecting the front of my eyebrow with the back of my eyebrow. I also want to make it look like I have bags under my eyes, and I did so by kind of squinting and just where the natural bags of my eyes would be, dragging a thin line across there. I'm going to shade that in just to give it a little bit of depth to my eye. I'm also going to fake some under eye circles here, so we're just going to drag that down where the natural bags of your eyes are going to be. And your natural under eye circles kind of go down in a line, so that's why I'm following that. Just going to go in and darken up some of those lines on my face. I'm now going to try and age my face a little further, and I'm going to do so by dragging some lines under my chin to make it look like that's sagging as well. I'm also going to give the appearance of jowls, and I'm doing so by making a line just down the side of my cheek. Any freeze frame in this video is going to be god awful. <laughs> Taking my MAC 217 brush, I'm going to go ahead and blur out those lines so they don't look like lines and a little more like wrinkles. I'm now going to go ahead and cover my face with some foundation and I'm just using my NARS Sheer Glow and my Beauty Blender. You can use any foundation, it doesn't matter what one you use, just as long as it matches your face. You want to make sure you put this foundation everywhere, including over top of the lines. It doesn't matter if you can't see them, they were just kind of a map of where we're going to put our wrinkles anyways, so we can always go back in and fine tune that. We're going to take the same gouache duo from before, and my E05 from Sigma, and we're going to go back in with the lighter shade this time, and just kind of darken up those lines further. I'm just going to take a tapered eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use this to blend out some of those lines. Make sure you go with the grain and not against the grain if you know what I mean. I decided to go ahead and put a thin line in between my eyebrows because I thought that would add something to the look. I'm now taking my Amazonian Clay Matte Bronzer from Tarte on the same E05 brush from Sigma from before and I'm just going to go ahead and warm up those lines so they don't look so grey and blah. I'm now taking the same brush from before, and I'm just going to go ahead and blend all of those lines out. Now I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk, and I'm just going to make lines in between the wrinkles, on top of the wrinkles, underneath the wrinkles, and this is just going to make the wrinkles look like they're sinking into my skin, and make it look like there's highlighted parts that are sticking up higher. This way it'll really add some depth and dimension to the face, and make it look like it is actually aged.
Taking another tapered eyeshadow brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend out those white lines. As you can see here, it really does make it look like that lip is starting to sag. This look is mainly about blending, blending, blending. If you blend enough and make it look like it's seamless, it'll really make those lines stand out and look awesome. I'm now going back over the darker lines just to blend them a little bit further to make them look like they really melt into the white part and it doesn't look like different lines. You can see here that the look is starting to come together. Taking the lighter shade in the Gosh Duo and my MAC 217 brush, I'm just going to suck in my cheeks and drag that color down in there and really make myself look gaunt and sick. I'm now taking my fan brush from Sonia Kashuk and I'm just going to blend that out. I'm taking the same Tarte bronzer from before and a MAC 217 brush and I'm just going to warm up where I put the contouring just to make it look a little more natural and not so weird. I'm now taking the fan brush and blending that out as well. Mixing the two colors we used to contour, I'm just going to take a MAC 217 brush and just apply that onto my temples to give myself a little more dimension and make it look a little more shapely. Now I'm taking my flare palette from Sigma and the color Gossip using my creased shadow brush from Crown that I received in my Ipsy bag. I'm going to place this color all over my eyelids, underneath my eyes, and into the under eye circles just to make it look like I'm really worn out, tired, and not healthy. You want to make sure you take that down in a line because that's how your natural under eye circles fall and it makes it look that much more realistic. Now I'm going to use my Dare palette from Sigma and the color Chase and I'm just going to use the brush that came with this palette and I'm just going to lighten up the purple with this pinky color because the purple isn't normally that deep underneath your eyes so I'm just going to make it look a little more natural. Take the same Gosh Duo from before on my MAC 217 brush, I'm just going to use a lighter grey shade and just darken up my under eye circles with this. I naturally have a more sunken in line underneath my eyes so I'm just going to darken that up with the darker colour from the Duo and it makes it a little more natural. I'm also going to put the lighter grey colour from the Gosh Duo all over my eyelids. I'm now going to try and shade in that sag underneath my eyebrow and make it look really realistic. I'm now taking my L'Oreal Super Liner Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Brunette. I'm just going to use the brush on the end of this to actually brush out my eyebrows. With this look, I thought really big bushy eyebrows would really suit it, so I decided to overdraw my eyebrows just a little bit and really accentuate the arch. I'm also going to use this to fill in my brows.
I'm now going to take an eyeliner brush and just kind of blur out those lines and blend them so they don't look so harsh. Because this pencil is so creamy, I decided to actually take this and drag it up to make it look like I had little hairs standing on end on my eyebrows, and it really added to the look and made my eyebrows look really, really realistic. I'm taking the same NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil before, and I'm just going to kind of gray out my eyebrows so they look aged. I'm also going to use this pencil to draw lines in my hair and give myself these grayish white streaks. I thought this was a great alternative because I didn't have any spray to use in my hair and I thought with the brown hair I didn't look like I was really that old. So this looked really really great and it turned out to be awesome. I also only decided to do the front of my hairline because I just put a cloak over top of it so I, there was no point doing a bunch of work you weren't going to see anyway. To take this look even farther, I took the falsies mascara I had from Maybelline and I have these little baby hairs that I hadn't got rid of yet. Um, they'd overgrown a little bit and I decided to just kind of put some mascara over those to give myself the illusion of a mustache. Here's a close up. And here is the finished look of the old maid. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial of the old maid. I really enjoyed doing this look. It was a lot of fun. It looks really, really cool. I think this was actually even more fun than my last one. You don't have to use the exact same products I use. Um, just kind of the basic, you know, black and gray and some pink and purple and you're ready to go to do this look. This took me about 40 minutes to do so just give yourself some time it really is just focusing on the blending it's super easy to take off though I did the practice run last night of it I just could use a whole like just one makeup wipe and it took the whole thing off my face practically so this is gonna be a good look if you're planning on going out to a party and you know when you come home late you don't feel like having to peel off all the latex and stuff this is a lot easier so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in my next tutorial see you later Bye-bye.